All this talk about AI replacing software engineers is not going to happen anytime soon. However, I do believe that our roles will rapidly evolve and expand where we will need much more than just coding and design skills to remain competitive in a challenging job market. For decades, software engineers have been sort of disconnected from the business aspects. All that mattered was that the product was well-designed, secure, scalable, and bug-free because software engineers are primarily rewarded for meeting technical requirements. Well, that's about to change. With AI now capable of assisting with every aspect of coding and design, software engineers will be expected to take much greater ownership of the product from ideation to revenue, where your performance will be linked to the entire process, not just the technical aspects. And to that end, I believe that there are four skills you should start developing right away that would help you succeed in the new era of software engineering. Hey folks, my name is Utsav. I'm a software engineer based in Seattle with over 15 years of experience in big tech and startups. My goal with this channel is to provide you mentorship to help you excel in your software engineering career. If that sounds interesting, consider subscribing and connecting with me on Instagram and LinkedIn or any other social media platform where I'll be happy to answer your questions directly. I understand that not everybody cares about the business side. As software engineers, we want to build and that's what we are passionate about. But in this new reality, we must understand the bottom line, especially in startups where roles overlap. Larger companies have tracked revenue per employee as an average for a while, but companies are now beginning to focus on the revenue that each individual contributes as a critical metric. For example, Meta already links software engineers' rewards to the revenue they generate as individuals, a trend that will only grow with AI automating coding and design tasks. This is why understanding business processes is crucial. So start by learning the fundamentals. Familiarize yourself with revenue, profit, COGS, ROI, and KPIs. These metrics help you understand how businesses measure success. In meetings, ask about how a particular project aligns with the company's business goals. Um, engage with product managers, sales teams, or executives to understand their perspectives on priorities and challenges. Learn about your company's competitors target market and customers. Follow industry news to understand trends, customer pain points, and opportunities for innovation. Engineers with business acumen can identify how their technical contributions impact revenue, cost savings, and customer satisfaction. Understanding the why behind projects help you prioritize work that delivers the most value to the company. That way, you're equipped to propose valuable features, identify market gaps, and contribute to product strategies. You can also effectively translate technical ideas into business terms and vice versa, enabling smoother collaboration as well. And you're more likely to be promoted into leadership roles and are seen as a strategic thinker who can contribute to the company's overall success, not just the technical execution. Next up is DevOps, which I think is undervalued in the software engineering community. See, traditionally, developers have focused on coding without understanding much of what happens in production performance or user interactions, delegating those duties to either the IT team or the product managers. But DevOps encourages continuous integration, deployment, and monitoring, enhancing awareness of code behavior in real environments. This fosters the writing of scalable and maintainable code. The principle of you build it, you run it means you're responsible for development and deployment, forcing you to think about deployment challenges and system performance. This shift encourages viewing the system holistically, which is a theme you will hear throughout this video. See, while AI can assist in handling part of your workload, a comprehensive understanding of the entire product will make you indispensable. So, if you have a DevOps system and pipelines in your team, definitely try to engage with them and learn more about them. If not, you can also try to learn it independently. However, unlike other soft skills I mentioned in this video, I recommend adopting a more structured learning approach when it comes to DevOps. Fortunately, I have a free DevOps roadmap PDF for you created by Nana from the YouTube channel Tech World with Nana, which you may know already. If you're not familiar with her, Nana is the number one DevOps and cloud educator globally with a community of over 1.5 million engineers worldwide. Through her hands-on tutorials and DevOps bootcamp, they have helped over 70,000 developers master the tools and concepts actively used in some of the top tech companies. And as I mentioned earlier, as AI takes on more of your workload, it is crucial to have a comprehensive understanding of how the code you write goes from your IDE to production to your customer's devices. That is why I recommend DevOps as an essential skill to have in 2025. Some of the highest paid software engineers 
in the world are highly proficient in DevOps and cloud practices. This roadmap that Nana has created clearly outlines what you need to learn and the order in which to do so. It is one of the clearest guides that I have personally seen for anyone looking to expand their skill set into DevOps. I'll link the PDF in the description below. Definitely check it out. It's free. Thanks to Nana for sharing this with us. Okay, let's move on from bringing systems together to bringing teams together. See, large products are often divided into multiple teams. Each team may focus solely on its component, losing sight of how it integrates with the overall system. This can create disconnects, conflicts, and misalignment in goals. AI agents and models can assist specific teams with their task, but they lack the human ability to mediate between teams and resolve such conflicts. If you have a holistic understanding of the entire system and strong technical writing skills, you'll be able to create comprehensive documentation that maps out how different components interact, making it easier for teams to understand the broader system. So the bottom line here is if you have a holistic understanding of the entire product and strong technical writing skills, you are the glue that holds a decentralized AI-assisted development environment together. You ensure that all parts of the product align, work seamlessly, and meet user needs, making you a critical asset for any tech company. Building on the idea of distributed teams, AI-driven workflows, and complex projects, a software engineer with strong communication skills, particularly in uh, presentation, sales, and interpersonal interactions, will also be immensely valuable. Many stakeholders, such as executives, product managers, and customers, don't have a strong technical background. And if you have strong presentation and sales skills, you can break down complex ideas into clear, digestible explanations, ensuring everybody understands the value of the product or the feature you're building. This isn't something you can easily delegate to AI. While it may help with the parts that you're trying to build, you'll still be the one who'll use that information to make the eventual pitch. Software engineers also often need to justify their decisions like architecture choices, timelines, and trade-offs. A strong communicator can effectively present these decisions to non-technical stakeholders, gaining their trust and buy-in. Mentorship is another area that is critical but cannot just be delegated to AI. No one really wants to be mentored by AI. Therefore, if you have strong communication skills, you can also mentor junior team members, explaining complex concepts clearly and fostering growth within the team. Communication is also often the differentiator for engineers seeking leadership roles. Managers, tech leads, and executives need to communicate effectively with diverse stakeholders. So engineers with these skills are natural candidates for promotion as well. So in conclusion, these are four skills that aren't meant to replace your core coding or design skills, but to complement them. Mastering these areas will not only make you more well-rounded as a software engineer, but also set you apart in a competitive and rapidly evolving industry. As teams become more distributed and AI continues to handle more routine tasks, it's these skills that will enable you to take ownership of the bigger picture, contribute strategically, and thrive in your software engineering career. Let me know in the comments below if you believe that there are any other soft skills that you think will be significant going forward. Also, in my next video, I'll talk about how I've started leveraging specific AI systems to supercharge my own performance as a software engineer. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, check out this video to learn about six core technical skills you need to stay competitive in 2025 and beyond. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.